Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into meningitis, which is a really serious infection of the meninges. Those are the membranes that protect your brain and spinal cord. Catching it early is super important. So we're going to talk about three key physical exam tests doctors use to check for it. This video is just for educational purposes, not for self-diagnosis. First up, neutral rigidity. Basically, that just means a stiff neck. Here's how you check it. You'd ask the patient to relax their neck and then gently try to move their chin down towards their chest. Now, if they have meningitis, you'll probably feel a lot of resistance and they'll likely say it hurts. Why does this happen? Well, when the meninges are inflamed, they get super sensitive to any stretching. So when you try to flex the neck, you're stretching those inflamed membranes. In a healthy person, that stretch is no big deal. But with meningitis, those irritated meninges cause the neck muscles to tighten up. It's like a reflex to try and stop the stretch and ease the pain. That muscle tightening is what makes the neck so stiff. Next, we've got Koenig sign. For this one, the patient needs to be lying on their back or supine. You'd start by bending their hip to 90 degrees. And then, while holding the hip there, you try to straighten their knee. If they have meningitis, they'll feel pain and resist you trying to straighten their leg. They might also feel tightness in their hamstring. So what's going on here? Well, when you bend the hip and knee and then try to straighten the leg, you're actually stretching the spinal cord and the meninges around it. And just like with the neck, those inflamed meninges are super sensitive to this stretch. That's what causes the pain and makes their hamstring muscles contract to stop you from straightening the leg. Finally, there's Brudzinski's sign. This one's also done with the patient on their back. You gently flex their neck forward like you're trying to touch their chin to their chest. But here's the key. You're watching their hips and knees. If they have a positive Brudzinski sign, their hips and knees will automatically bend in response to you moving their neck. Why? It's the same principle as before. Moving the neck stretches those inflamed meninges and the body automatically tries to relieve that tension by bending the legs. It's a reflex. So just to quickly recap, we covered neutral rigidity. Koenig's sign and Brudzinski's sign. Remember, these tests aren't enough to diagnose meningitis on their own. They're just part of the overall clinical picture. Other signs of meningitis can include fever, a bad headache, changes in mental state, and sometimes a rash. If you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, especially if they also have positive results on these tests, it's really important to get medical help right away. Early treatment is crucial for preventing serious complications. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more medical info.